Hello, fellow Leos. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to Divine Conversations. This is your reading for the second half of March 16th to the 31st. Um, I am a Leo moon, so I'm excited to see what this is going to say. <laughs> uh, the first half of the month did resonate with me, so we'll see. Um, if uh, you are instant, if you're on instant go, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, I am available for uh, quick questions if you have one. But the link to my instant go uh, profile is in the description box below. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can find my email address along with some um, uh, descriptions of some readings that I offer in the description box as well. All right, Leo, let's get to it. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Leos, sun, moon, and rising. What do you have for us? What are the best messages for all Leos in the second half of March, 16th to the 31st? Leo, the big cats of the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> Leo, what you got? What you got? What's going on? Whoopsies. Looks like there's a card that is sorry guys there's looks like i thought i saw a card that was uh face up give me just a moment 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 nope i guess not okay all right leo one more shuffle for you and then I will cut the deck. Here we go. Leo. Okay, so your overall energy, we're starting with the Four of Pentacles. Ooh. Now, I do remember we were talking about letting some go in the beginning of the month. Have you let it go yet, Leo? Huh. Some of you have. I know I have. Uh, some of you have it though. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, lots of Pentacles here for you guys. And underneath all of that, we've got the Two of Pentacles. Very interesting. So, huh. what's going on here? Um, I feel like for the most part, you have let things go. You're not really holding on to it too, too uh, anymore. Um, and what the Four of Pentacles is saying. And I'm getting that because the Queen of Pentacles is here. And she, to me, is standing up as an independent individual that is choosing to walk away from a situation that no longer serves her. Now, first, please understand this is energy, okay? The Queen of Pentacles um, does, not, does not have to necessarily mean a woman. It could be a man, like this is just energy. Now it could be, it could be a woman. Maybe Leo, um, it could also be an earth sign, um, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Are, Leo, I'm feeling called to ask, are you holding on to this person? Are you holding on to the idea of this person? This is really a mixed message here because the Knight of Pentacles talks about um, planning slow movement towards something. So are you holding on to an idea about someone? Um, do you want to move forward with someone in, a, in some way? Do you want to, do you want to marry this person? <laughs> I want to ask you because the Queen of Pentacles a lot of the time, well, the king and the queen of pentacles are looked at as um, parents, as husband and wife material, as um, good good parents, good fathers, good mothers, uh, nurturing, uh, caring, very stable and grounded, very logical. Hmm. And then with the two of pentacles here, that like you're trying to balance something out. I f I'm, I'm feeling like you're trying to come to terms with something. Maybe you've let go of something and, or someone and they walked away from you 
but you're planning on trying to get them back with the Knight of Pentacles here. Uh, it's not gonna, it's, it's a slow process either way. Well, you know what? Why don't we just get into the rest of the reading, Eric? <laughs> here we go. First, we have judgment. Okay, higher calling with the Nine of Swords. All right. So you're hearing a call towards something, Leo. Um, and you're kind of up in your head about it. You're being called to do something. You're called to pursue something. And you, you're scared. You're losing sleep over it because you're like, I don't, how am I going to do this? I don't know if this is going to work out. Am I going to be successful? Like, you're like, you're really anxious about it. But understand that this is, if you're being called to do something, to pursue someone, to pursue something, to, you know what I mean? Like if you're being called to do that by your higher self, by the universe, it is absolutely safe for you to do it. You don't have to be so afraid about it. And all you're really doing in being up in your head about it is just creating self-fulfilling prophecies. Like if you're just focused on failure, you're going to create failure. You know what I mean? So like, just get out of your head about it. Next, we have the five of wands. Okay. With the king of swords. Ooh, well, I, I like seeing the king of swords with the five of wands, but I, but, but, um, what I'm seeing here is conflict of interest, um, opposing sides, people fighting over, you know, petty arguments, but with the King of Swords here, it's kind of like you're you're taking a step back and you're trying to look at things as objectively as possible. Like I feel like there are a lot of there are a lot of um, conflicting opinions around you, and because of that, you're trying to see you're just trying to look at it objectively and be like and, and diplomatically. Like you're hearing people out, you know what I mean? Uh, but ultimately, it's your decision, and you're coming and you're you're aware of that. You know that, so you're you're trying to make the most objective uh decision as possible like you're trying to make you're trying to keep the peace too like you're trying you're hearing people out with with the intentions of like listening to them honestly and then making the best decision that'll help kind of quell all of this or squash all of this like bickering petty arguments and all that mm. and now that's connecting with this earth energy i'm seeing up here in your in your um in your overall energy, I feel like you're being a mediator somehow in some cases. Guys, this is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Let's move forward. We have six of swords. Yeah, moving forward from something. Ooh, with the page of pentacles. Moving forward from something and starting new somewhere else. My, my. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there's a lot of earth energy in this for you, Leo. Um, but yeah, so in this case, you have in fact let go of something with the four of pentacles. And and the reason why it's showing up as four of pentacles is because you were holding on to it. I remember in the last video, you were holding on to dear life, for, with some, holding on for dear life to something. Um, and now you've let go and you're moving forward with the six of swords into a brand new venture as the page of pentacles. You're starting over in a, in a sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, next, moving forward, we have the 10 of pentacles. Look at that, oh wow, with the ace of swords. Abundance is on its way to you or you're working towards abundance because you've had an epiphany, you've had an aha moment. You came into a realization I believe the Ace of Swords came up in the first card of your overall energy for the beginning of the month. But this Ace of Swords, whatever this Ace of Swords represented for it to you, Leo, um, is helping facilitate you achieving abundance with the Ten of Pentacles. Completion with something. Yeah. Okay, moving forward. We have the Three of Pentacles. Yes, entrepreneurship in many cases, and the three of wands. That's, oh, that's cool. Look, two threes right there. Three of pentacles and the three of wands. So the three of pentacles can talk about uh, partnership with others. It can also talk about entrepreneurship. The three of wands says to me that you have made your decision, Leo, and now you're working on getting to it. And that makes perfect sense because the knight of pentacles came up in your overall energy and you are slowly but surely planning things out. Methodical is what I'm being, what I'm being told here. You're slowly but surely planning things out. 
to reach your destination. You are working in conjunction with yourself. I'm really seeing for some of you, the three of pentacles is you really working together with yourself. And that could be what's causing the five of wands energy, to be honest. If this I mean, if you're really if you're really looking inward to figure out how to move forward, you may have differing, conflicting opinions about things. You know, you may feel conflicted about this, whatever this situation is. Um, but again, the good thing about having the five of wands there is it also has the king of swords. So you're being as objective and diplomatic as possible. But the three of wands is saying to me that you've made your decision and now you're moving forward with it. Excellent, Leo. Next, we have. Wow, the Queen of Swords. Look at that. We've got the counterparts with the Four of Swords. Okay. So this is these are this is for those of you that have are dealing with a breakup. I know some of you, a lot of you are some of you posted um, comments in the last video about how you know you're dealing with a breakup here, and so um, the Queen of Swords was very much associated with that with that decision that you've made to move forward. And 11-11 um, on the counter, woo! Um, and now you're kind of in a restful stage with the Four of Swords. And you're trying to just recuperate and figure things out before, or at least figure out as much as you can before you move forward um, in your situation. Before you like step back into battle. Sometimes it can be seen in that way. <sighs> so yeah. Um, so I, I've been wanting to go back to the uh, the overall energy here and try and uh, describe a little more of what the Queen of Pentacles represents. And I'm feeling like, for the most part, the Queen of Pentacles is you, Leo, uh, showing up, at, re regardless of whether you're a male or female, um, you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles here because you have decided to let something go and you're going to move forward. But you're stable. You're really stable about it. You're really logical. Yeah. But you're moving forward, and this is why it's showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, in my opinion. You're moving forward with what your heart and your emotions are guiding you towards in a stable and grounded way. Like, this is not you being over emotional, Leo. Like, you're, 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 you're stabilizing your emotions. And that's mostly also why it, because I am a Leo moon. I know I can be very dramatic sometimes. But here, what the Queen of Pentacles is saying to me is no, you're not being dramatic this time. You are actually very stable and grounded in your emotions and you are planning and you're moving forward with what you desire, with what your heart desires. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, there you have it, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you all. I wish you all the best and I will see you for the beginning of April. Take care. Bye.